Hi, this is Link, your madman with a non-existent clan. This is episode one of the Challenge Dave, which is what I believe we're calling it. That's not set in stone yet, though. Uh, series or show, or however the fuck you want to put it. Uh, now, the Challenge Dave is basically... Oh, my name's Dave. Go figure, you know, who the hell put two and two together there. Um, thing is, it goes like this, you know, the idea is... One of, like, one of my friends or someone online who leaves comments is supposed to say, oh, win a match using this weapon or this setup. Today, I'm doing it with the ballistics knife and the tomahawk. That's, that's what this video is of. Now, I'm not going to lie to you people. This video, this isn't my, you know, this isn't my 42 and 2 video. I, I die a fair amount. I'm trying to do this on free-for-all to make it fair. That way there is no, like, I had teammates helping me or anything, you know. And more or less, the, uh, you know, and, like, I actually went out of my way and didn't even play with my friends this time. So this would be 100% legit. So there's plenty of times where I spawn and get mowed down because people spawn right next to me, that kind of deal. The surprise that the grenade didn't, or the, the grenade got me. I'm surprised the Claymore didn't get me. But anyway, so you can, you can expect some more of these to show up eventually about of uh, me trying out, like, different weapon setups or whatever. And if you have any ideas of your own, you know, comment them, you know, put them in a comment, send them, send a message, whatever. I'm not saying that it's a guarantee that we're going to use it, but we will look it over, and if it's physically possible, we'll definitely, defi I'll definitely try it, you know. That's all, it's, it's, you know, it's me who has to do it, so. Anyway, so, yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about what I'm using here. My class is Lightweight Pro, uh, Warlord Pro, and, uh, Marathon. It's not even Marathon Pro. <laughs> I, I fucked that. Trying to capture all those flags is a pain in the ass. But, um, the reason I have Lightweight Pro is fairly obvious, you know, so I can run faster. But the reason I have Warlord Pro is so I have two Tomahawks. That's why I have a chance, you know, if I miss a Tomahawk, I have a chance to throw another one. Anyway. Ah, uh, well, all right. Now, that's, let's focus on the game here. There's my, se all right, second kill in a row, stabbing him with the ballistic knife. I go on, uh, you know, I mean, I've I've gone through whole games where I've used nothing but the ballistic knife before. Uh, but those are, like, with friends, you know, on the enemy team. And those are a lot of, those are more or less fun games than, like, maybe all, like, playing demolition or whatever. But I've never really done it legit, like, legitimately trying to win by myself on a, uh, be for all game so this uh this was hard and you know it was very difficult i kept getting mowed down very very quickly but i do like ooh, this is a good one i do get some superb kills with like my tomahawks and ballistic knife like i did just there so it, i thought you know it was definitely worth keeping this was actually my first attempt which is the funny part this is the first time i tried to, to do this and afterwards, I tried a couple more times, and I could not do it to save my life. And I don't know if it was just the maps I was getting, because I was getting really large maps. I was getting, like, Berlin Wall and stuff like that. But I don't know if it was the maps I was getting, or if it was just I was trying too hard, but I could not do it for the life of me. Ooh, there's a good one. Damn. Got, like, 5,000 points from that kill, too. Oh. So, something else to say, something else to note. Uh... One of, uh, my, my leader, the leader of our clan, Superstar DJ, was actually referenced to, he was mentioned in one of the videos, uh, from Wicked Shrapnel. So, you know, thanks to him, and I'm gonna return the favor, you know, anyone watching this, go watch w Wicked Shrapnel's video. I, I, I always have trouble pronouncing his name. Go watch his videos. Definitely worth it. The link should be in the description of this video. Granted, Superstar DJ puts it there. All right, back to the game. Right now, I'm tied for lead. You know, uh, that's that's. I'm like, I'm on my toes right now. I'm like, all right, where the, where's the next guy? Who's I'm, who am I gonna get next? And you know, I get this guy. I somehow completely didn't see that guy, but you know, it's whatever. I'm still in the lead though. Still tied for the lead. It's a very close game all the way through. God, if this was, uh, ooh, I actually got him. If this is, if I, I wish we were playing World of War, though, because I remember in World of War, all I used to do, uh, one of my favorite maps was Nightfire. 
And when my, me and my friends used to play, like, private matches, all we would do is play Nightfire. Well, we'd play, like, other maps, but whenever it was my choice to pick the map, I picked Nightfire. They could never find me. I, I was, it was like trying to find a needle in a haystack, and the haystack is hidden in a coal mine. It was, like, it was, it was a lot of fun, though. Like, I have a way about, like, I've always been good at running around and, like, never staying in one place. I, I actually, I actually do worse if I try to hold still. I would have gotten the Tom Hall kill there if he hadn't died, though. I feel kind of stupid there because I did, I, I shot the ballistic knife at him and then, you know, it didn't hit him, so I threw the flashbang. And he was in the last stand, and I was like, that should kill him. As it would turn out, as I've recently discovered, especially after doing that, the flashbang will only kill someone in last stand if it's your kill. Like, if you put them in last stand, then the flashbang will kill them. If someone else did, then it actually won't do it, which is really stupid, because that just got me killed. Nice ballistic knife, sh uh, ballistic knife shot for me, but couldn't outrun the, uh... <laughs> couldn't outrun that freaking, uh, RC car. Hard to believe people still use that damn thing. I just realized this is the first video in a long time I've done by myself. I usually have at least someone like, alongside me doing it. Oh, alright. I don't think I get this guy. Nah, he called on to me. He got me. And he, like, basically dropped. Drop shot right there. Coming closer to the end of the match, though. I'm at 23 kills. I'm in the lead, but only by one kill at this point. And I'm still in the lead, but I died right there. There's one. Backstab middle for that one. Oh, camping out. Yeah, that's that's the, probably the hard reason. The reason it's so hard to do this on free-for-all is because you get so many people who camp like that, but then you also get, like, not even, it's not even the player's fault. It's actually the games where you'll start the game, and what will happen is, like, you'll, you'll be playing, and you'll spawn, and it's like, or it's like, if you get killed, you'll spawn within, like, a proximity of that person, and then, most likely, they get to kill you again. It's like, it's almost like they designed the, the spawning in this game so that people, like, who, like, not camped, but sniped, would have the advantage. It's like, if you sit in one spot and you set up well, ooh, that was a good one. If you sit in one spot and you, like, set up well enough, then you can sit there and be like, okay, I'm going to shoot this guy and then shoot that guy. After you've shot, you know, you've killed these guys off, they'll spawn right there again, like right in the area that, you know, close enough to you, and they'll come at you. Because, you know, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, that bastard killed me. I want to get him back for it. Oh, look, he's right there. Let's go get him. And then they get killed again, and it happens again. <laughs> like, quite annoying. I actually thought I was going to die here. But, luckily enough, uh, no one shot me with a flash, and... This is, you know, cutting a little close here, but I couldn't hit this bastard for the life of me. But, you know, point is, killed him, episode one complete, and, uh, thank you for watching, subscribe, go watch with, with the Trapnels videos, and, um, you know, this video is devoted to Ryan Dunn, because I miss him. I love you, Ryan. Bye-bye.